Well, today we're going to be doing a bit of a repaint on one of these sort of cheap figures you see in Tesco and Sainsbury's and that sort of thing. Um, this is a Thor um, from Avengers Infinity War figure. I mean, it's not a bad head sculpt, but the paint application is just awful. Um, I've got quite a few of these figures. They're quite a nice way of getting display figures, but they're generally quite toy-like. Um, so I tend to repaint all of them. So all I'm going to do to start with is a base coat of Cadian Flesh Tone from Citadel. And that's a lovely flesh tone, co covers really well, but is a bit dark. So I lighten it up just a tad with uh, Vallejo, or Vallejo, however you want to pronounce it. And this is light flesh, and I find that thins it down and lightens it up just enough that it doesn't look like he's been in the sun all day. Which you could get away with on this figure if you want to. All we're going to do is cover it right over, and I'm going to do everything including his beard. Because I'm going to repaint the beard and that will work as a base coat. There we go. So I'm just going to paint the face today. I'm probably at some point going to paint all of the body as well. I'm just going to do the, the face just to give you an idea of what it looks like when it's repainted. I might do the neck as well, but I'll do a couple of more coats and then we'll come back and do some detail work. Right, so I've uh, put a few coats on, covered it all over. Uh, so now we're just going to use some flesh wash. is just Reikland Flesh Shade, um, which I use for absolutely everything, because um, it's very versatile. So all I'm gonna do is run this into the, the details. There we go, so oh, just his other cheek. And then let that dry. Right, so the flash wash is dried, so we're now going to just do a bit of dry brushing uh, using a lightened flesh tone. So we're not going to use white yet, we might put a bit of white on there, but we're going to use a lightened flesh tone just to sort of blend everything together and again you don't need much on the brush in fact the, the less the better and then we're just gonna run the brush over and again you can do multiple dry brushes but once you've got it on it's hard to remove it Just a second, show you I'm being slightly distracted by my little cat. She likes to sit and watch me paint, and then she starts to nip my elbow. Right, yeah, right, back to saw. Let's say we're just blending the, the shading in so that it isn't quite so, uh, <laughs> pardon the pun, quite so stark. Normally you can take these heads off, but this one's solid. I couldn't get it off even like putting it in boiling water. Didn't want to come off. Normally I take them off to paint, but there we go. And then I'm just going to paint in the white of the eye. And I'm going to mix a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of red. I'm going to use a fist on red with the flesh colour just to make a lip colour. But you, you don't want him to look like he's wearing lipstick. 
generally if you're painting men don't do the top lip if you're painting women do both I just find that looks uh, better men with top lips painted tend to look a bit uh, like they're wearing lipstick okay so we're gonna start putting in his beard now he's got sort of blondy yellow color beard so I'm going to use Avalon Sunset which is like a yellowy with a hint of brown and I'm also going to mix it with a bit of brown just to take the yellow tint off Try and feather the edges because beards generally don't have a hard line. We're going to try and paint in a direction that the hair's growing in. And the best advice I can give anyone is buy decent brushes and don't be afraid to switch sizes if you need to. Don't think just because you've got a big brush loaded with paint that you have to use it if you're going to make a mess because you need a smaller brush. Paint his eyebrow. Um, everyone gets blue eyes in this house. It's hard because his legs, I can't move his legs, his legs are sticking into me. So, kicks by sore. I'm going to use black to uh, do his eye patch. Hard to paint these larger figures on camera because physically getting the figure under the camera. And then I'm going to use some flesh wash just to run down the bottom of the eye. Just make it a little bit pinker. Takes the harsh whiteness away. Put some more in his mouth. Okay. Okay, we'll let that dry. We'll come back and do a bit of uh, dry brushing. Okay, so this is all nicely dry. So I'm going to do some dry brushing on the beard and the hair. Oh, his, his feet. His feet are doing me head in. He's sticking out. He's got clod uppers. So I'm going to use a... I'm not going to use white straight away on it. Again, because it tends to make people look old. Oh, God, his feet. Um, I've just done a Peter Cushion Doctor Who head and I dry brush and white on it. I mean, it's good for old people like that, but uh, not so good for hunky sort of. For his eye patch, I'm going to use a gunmetal silver just to make it look a bit like it's a metallic patch. And so it's called Lead Belcher. It's good. And then 
one last thing is in his eye. I'm going to put a dot of white just as like a little reflection. I'm also going to use a tiny, tiny bit of my flesh color just to tidy up because it's gone over a bit. So. So that's so, and as you can see, it's it's a really nice uh, facial sculpt. It's just they they don't paint these things very well. Even the most basic of paint jobs makes it look better. Um, and what I'll probably do is repaint the whole body. But for now, it gives you an idea that these cheap figures—they're sort of about eight quid, something like that. Sometimes a bit more expensive. Um, but I've got quite a few. Um, let me just go in. I'll just grab the other Thor I did. So I did one from Thor Ragnarok. So this is the Thor Ragnarok figure, which again is a really nice facial sculpt, and I repainted the whole figure on this one. But they make really nice display models for quite cheap amounts. So uh, I hope you enjoyed watching me paint Thor's face, and I hope you have a go at it. Um, if you mess it up, you just paint over it. Uh, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks, then. Bye.